10 points to anyone who can identify this green mineral. I've been seeing it everywhere. There's, at first, I thought it was thirsty. And then I thought it was uh, algae and then uh, Uncle Fungus. But no, I've been seeing it meticulously placed. And uh, there's another one. There are copper mines. Probably not malachite, it's too like bright green. Let's see how quickly we can find a really ill crystal. The really dark stuff has been attracting me. Ow, I stepped on my finger. But yeah, the dark stuff, is it lead or iron base? Yeah, the best way to tell is to lick it. And uh, afterwards, you'll either get really sick or not. And that's how you can tell if it's lead or not. Oh. Nothing. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm thinking it's the green is a uh, chrysocola. It can't be turquoise. Gibbsite? Nah. Too rare for this region. I'd say it's a copper um, oxide or carbonate. What the? Mm, don't know more underneath what is this stuff why would something like that be left behind maybe they just forgot one it's super fragile it just breaks up i mean maybe amazonite i am in colorado but it doesn't have a feldspar pa pattern Feldspar has cleavage and breaks on planes. Everything is looking green to me now. I mean, I could dig slow, but it breaks anyways. It's, it's gotta be a mineral. I'm spitting, I'm so excited. It just keeps on getting more and more blue. That's the thing that's bugging me out. Oh! Is it as clean as it's gonna get? Maybe? It's bubba gum blue. I wish I were an anteater. Something that doesn't need tools to dig. Or, uh, I just moved from Florida and we have a uh, boar down there. And people shoot them. It's messed up. Why don't they just import them to Colorado where they can live a symbiotic lifestyle with me? We can work together. It just keeps getting more blue. Why? Does that look green to you? Just dripping out. It's all crushed though. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to look on the bank because that's what it is. This is just bleached out by the sun.
it's not a vent train. A vent train's like quartz based and this stuff breaks too easy. It's not chrysoprase. I think that's quartz based, like silicon based too. A bit flabbergasted, I did not recognize it as turquoise, however I had never seen any in the wild, so I will give myself a break. Turquoise is a unique mineral, despite it lacking definitive visible crystalline structure, it begins its journey as hydrothermal solution. Hydrothermal solution is mineral rich water found deep in the earth circulating at all times. This water leaches sulfur and copper out of rock, carries it with it and deposits into rock as copper porphyry. Later, water infiltrates the surface of the earth, carries with it dissolved oxygen, and oxidizes the copper deposits in the copper porphyry, later and finally depositing into these seams and cracks as turquoise. I also find it interesting that 90% of all turquoise that is being worn as jewelry requires stabilization. This explains why it's so fragile. Stabilization can actually be done at home with a vacuum chamber, some epoxy and acetone to lower the viscosity and uh, act as a surfactant to enable the epoxy to seep into the pores of the turquoise. This is very porous. When I cleaned it, it bubbled for quite a while, which is great because it allows that epoxy to seep into the pores where it's locked in and it dries and then it can be cut, cabbed, or polished.